to kick off the Hopkinton Youth Commission Martin Luther King Day festivities. The Michael Lisdell Respite Center battled members of the Hopkinton High School basketball team. The Respite Center was too much for the Hillers to handle as they took the game in dominant fashion. And uh, whether you're in college, whether you're, you're working, whether you're in high school, whatever it may be, it's a good way to reduce stress, okay? If you focus on someone other than yourself, okay, you're going to kind of let go of your own problems and focus on what really matters. After the basketball game, Hopkinton High School teacher and varsity lacrosse coach Dan Norton spoke about his volunteer experience and the benefits of volunteering. Yeah, so I teach kindergarten, first grade phys ed at center school, and I'm the boys varsity lacrosse coach. And I got into that um, strictly because of, you know, the foundation that my family kind of put with me. Um, I really believe in giving back to others. I really believe in, you know, mentoring and, and being there for other people. And that's why I chose what I do. Um, I love sports. I love athletics. I love what those bring out in you. And I also really love uh, how, you know, community service and uh, volunteering, you know, really brings that, that out in people as well. Um, you know, one of the main reasons that I do teach is, is so I can give back to, to kids and, and help be a positive influence in their life. I don't speak any other languages and whenever you go to another country or, or anything like that, that was always my biggest fear. I don't, I don't speak Spanish, I don't speak, I uh, went to Thailand one time, I don't speak Thai or anything like that. So um, I always just brought the cross and, and, and I think like the language of sport kind of crosses all, all languages because, you know, you just, you're, you're doing, you're not really talking, you're doing. So I would bring a uh, bunch of equipment that I had donated from, you know, local town when I was in Ashland. I had it from there when I was coaching over here. I had some kids donated from over here and uh, different different companies. And uh, we would bring it and, uh, and the kids had a lot of fun. Yeah, so my speech was all about how you can give back just in small ways. Talked about like the boomerang theory where, you know, the more you give, the more you're going to get in return, just like a boomerang. And I kind of talked about some of my experiences where I had gone to different countries and, and taught the game of lacrosse. And that kind of opened up a big door for me uh, to have a trip this summer to Mexico where, um, you know, everything was paid for. And, and I got to, you know, share the game that I love and, and do something that I really love. But, um, you know, those are on the big picture, I think, on the, on the small picture. You know, I think there are so many things that you can do. Um, everyone has certain talents, whatever they are, and everyone has a certain ability that they can help share with somebody else. And I think the biggest ability that everyone else has is, is being able to be there for each other. And, uh, you know, they don't need to be the huge experiences that I had, but, you know, they can be small little things each and every day. Now, when you were traveling to some of those countries in uh, South America, did they know what lacrosse was, or did they have no idea about the sport? No, yeah, actually a lot. Uh, when I was in Thailand, they all thought it was hockey, so they started playing on the ground and, and saying hockey, hockey, hockey. Um, so that was definitely tough, uh, obviously not speaking the same language as everybody, but, um, you know, once they, once they started, they got the hang of it. Um, the, the South American countries were actually picked it up a lot quicker, you know, because their soccer ground and the spacing and, you know, being able to give and go right as soon as we started playing. Um, so I was very interested to see that, but, you know, a lot of them, a lot of them did think it was hockey and hadn't really seen the sport because a lot of the places we were going, you know, didn't have TVs or internet or any way to kind of research about the sport. Now, uh, once they learned it, did they enjoy it? They did, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I tried to put up some pictures in the, in the PowerPoint of, of just all the smiles, and I think that's that's really why I do it, you know, just to see the smiles on people's faces and the and the feeling that gives you, and you know, kind of makes you feel like a better person. 